You know what I mean? Like. Wow. It's her sugar daddy. I do a vlog on YouTube if you're wondering. Uh -oh. That's going to be the intro for it. Oh, one last thing. She got me a Christmas gift also, and it's epic. <laughs> Look at these. Hold on. Let me open them. Yeah, open them for me. Look at those, y'all. The little wings on them. Oh, what's going on, man? Wearing those tomorrow. What's up, YouTube? So, um, funny story. Well, I don't know if funny is the word I should use. It's actually kind of sad. All right, so I got this new gaming chair, and I'm super excited about it uh, because I needed a nice chair, and I wasn't going to use it for gaming. I was actually going to use it for editing, so I'd have something nice and comfortable to sit in, uh, gave me some neck support, some lumbar support, yada, 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 yada. So I'm super excited about getting this chair. I shoot all these videos about um, me going to pick up the chair, me getting the chair. I get home. I shoot me unboxing it, my initial reaction, uh, me building it, and my initial review. So I go to upload all the videos so that I can edit them for my next vlog episode. And I realize that I've recorded the whole unboxing, building, and initial review with my front-facing camera. Ah, so for those y'all don't know, I shoot all my videos off my S8 Plus. So I had everything recorded on the front face camera instead of the rear camera because I use the rear camera for higher quality, of course. Yeah, so I basically had about two thirds of that day's vlog recorded with the wrong camera. So I couldn't use it. <clears throat> so since I ruined that video, um,. I figured I'd just give you a quick review of what I think about it now that I've used it for a few days. So, this right here that I'm sitting in is my Thick Max gaming chair, uh, red, black, and white, my favorite colors. Um, and honestly, I think it is an outstanding chair. So, let me let you get a look at it really quickly. Not the Fit Max logo. There's the colors. There's the chair as a whole. It even has a little footrest, but I can't figure it out. Can't figure out the footrest. So, it pulls out like so. And then, it doesn't lock. It just drops. I don't know, but I wouldn't use the footrest anyway. And excuse all the mess I haven't cleaned up. But... The chair is actually very comfortable. Had to get the footrest back in. It's very comfortable. It's soft yet firm. Uh, the arm holds are great. Um, I mean, they're right size and, you know, not too big, not too small. My arms fit in there perfectly. I really love this neck pillow right here. It sits right at the base of my neck, top of my shoulders. It's very comfortable. Um, has a nice little firmness to it, but not too much. And it has the lower back pillow right here that is also extremely nice. Um, overall, I'm happy with the chair. And it lays back like more than flat. I mean, look at this. Look at that. That is beautiful. So I could even take a nap in it. So... Overall, I'm very pleased with the chair. I love the color. I love the look. I love how I can lounge and relax in it, maybe read a book or sit up and I feel like I could edit for hours in it. Um, it's a great chair. It looks and feels wonderful. So I'm happy with it. And now that I gave you my quick review on my chair after wasting a whole episode dedicated to it, it's time for me to eat so that I can get to what today's episode will be about. Not the healthiest stuff, but I love it. Add a little bit, just for a little bit of flavor. So 
so I've actually been doing very good on my diet. Um, I've been sticking to this uh, pan seared chicken breast, steamed broccoli, and brown rice combo. Just chop the chicken up, mix it up. Sometimes I don't, but I'm on my second week of eating this. Um, I typically eat it for lunch and for dinner. And when I want something sweet to drink, turn to these Nestle flavored waters. This one's wild berry. Grape is actually my favorite. So yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I do everything that I need to do to get my abs back. So now it's time to eat. <sighs> All right, so I'm finally home from work. Got everything handled. And since I messed up my first unboxing, I thought I would do a dip for it. And here it is right here. So this right here is my newer ring light. Let's see what's inside. Looks like quite a bit. So I'm pretty sure this is the stand for it. Let's find out. Huh. Nice little carrying case right there. Makes it portable for travel, like that. So, um, I actually stopped doing my movie reviews because I broke my light. So this is something I've been looking at getting for a while. Now that I got it, I can get back to my reviews. Very nice travel case. Pretty sure I'm gonna be taking this with me anyway though. Then again, you never know. All right, now just give me a second. I'm not trying to put all this together. Yeah, I'll be back to tell y'all what I think about it. really sure how to connect the light to the stand so I can't find the instructions for it so I'm gonna go watch a YouTube video and then I'll be back all right so I got it all assembled um, I guess I have one of the newer models because I couldn't find this exact one on YouTube so through trial and error I think I got it together I put all the extra parts here and the power cable that I don't use, I guess that's European, I have no idea. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just gonna throw all this stuff in a nice little carrying bag here. So I have it in case I ever need it. But let's see how the light came together. <laughs> Now, if I must say it looks pretty good, I'm not really sure, but it's time to test it out. And the controls are right here. <laughs> Not gonna work without any juice. <laughs> so, hold on one second. That is bright, man. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna set it in a little phone holster and we'll see how this looks. So just a second. All right. Got it in there, how does it look? If I cut it all the way up, it is killer, even with the little diffusers on it. So I think in order to be comfortable sitting in front of this light, I won't be able to go much past that, but I'm gonna have to play around with the footage and see how it all looks together. But they did leave me a couple of extra cool things. Um, I guess this is another form of diffuser for the light to put over it, but I like the hard plastic ones that they gave me. They also gave me some orange ones to give it more of a warmer tone if I wanted to, but I don't think I'll ever use those. Then again, I might, you never know. So, yeah, 
I think I really like it. Um, the tripod is solid. I'll actually probably use the tripod for this light. My actual camera tripod because it's lighter, it's more modern, it looks better. It has a ball head joint, which my uh, camera tripod doesn't, but that's also a very old tripod. It's very heavy and bulky. And this one just looks a lot more sleek. So um, when I travel, I'll definitely take it with me. Now, first impressions of the light, it's great. Um, I don't know if I have myself centered on it perfectly or anything like that, but I like it. Uh, again, it gets extremely bright. I can cut it all the way down. That's at its lowest setting, all the way up. Whoa, that's its highest setting. So again, I would have to definitely bring it down some in order to be able to handle it. But safe to say that my videos now will have much better lighting, which I'm excited about. Now all I need to do is get my new camera, stop shooting off this phone so I can have better quality video. But this will help with that, of course. Lighting makes the video look a lot better. Then I can also get an external mic so I can have better audio. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to get back to doing my reviews because I was missing a good quality light. And now that I have one, I'm going. And this weekend, I think Den of Thieves comes out. So I'm excited about that. So that's my initial review and test of this light. Um, I suck at unboxings. This is my second one. The first one I recorded with the camera facing the complete wrong way. So all you can do is hear me. The second one, I didn't even know how to assemble the thing. Um, I didn't get the right angles to show y'all what I was doing. So I definitely have to practice at it. So next thing I get, I'll stumble through the unboxing again. And sooner or later, I'll have it down pack. But that's it. But that's it for now. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.